Welcome back, everybody, to Amnesia the Dark Descent. Last time we fixed the elevator and we got down and, well, I don't know where I am. And an area that was pretty safe for the most part was corrupted by the darkness. We, of course, found a few more lore logs, some journals. I am missing some. I am not perfect, I will say that. Yeah, I'm missing the second one of return. But, uh, I got full fuel, and I got oil. I got two laudanums. Um, I still have these. Oh. Come this way. What was that? Forgive me, I should have warned you. One of my responsibilities as a baron is that of a prison warden. This is where criminals are locked up. Like a dungeon? Very much so. Come, don't linger. Great, we're in the dungeon. Then again, this entire place. All right. Come on, we gotta move it. I know I'm not returning to this place, but let's do a decent job at removing all this. Oh, come on. Oh, fine. Come here, you, the tiny one. You're in my way. There we go. Nope. How did that work? And time to go. All right, we have full oil. Let's do this. I don't know where I am or where I'm going. Six tinder boxes. That's something. Light, light, it's fine, man. Settle down. I'm back to reality. Light, look at, look at, beautiful light, man. Come on. You know what? I'm not looking too good. Let me just turn this on. There we go. Look a little bright, though. I'll use the first bright. Actually, let me turn the second bright setting on. There we go. See how good that looks. Actually, it's really bright. I need the second setting. It's like an orangish light. No, it makes me look orange. 
I'm sorry, I'm being very picky right now. Just level one, it's fine. My sanity's not going back up. next okay I think I'm starting to get a little more sane I can't I gotta go up the stairs am I okay I'm getting sandy back all right, I'm gonna just chill here real quick. Because the problem is I kind of need sanity. If I want to live against an encounter with the... Uh, the monster. This hiding place sucks, but it's the best thing I can come up with right now. Oh! Well, hello! Got a treat! Just making things worse. Look, this is no place for a young girl all by herself. She could be hurt or worse. There's no telling what horrors await down there. So a little girl escape? Not the best thing for a little girl. Ooh. A chipper. Stone chipper. 
So we have a stone hammer and a stone chipper. drops but it's better than nothing what was in here what was worth coming in here it's just oil there's nothing in here but the oil that was a waste of us shipper my head. Okay, it's better. I got a slight headache. I got one more. Too narrow. Ah, makes sense. Good thing I have this hammer and chipper. Dark towers of Brennenberg rose above the forest and were silhouetted against the snow white moon. He couldn't help feeling sad for some reason. So a little girl escaped through here. Okay. Always go left. Is what losers go say, so let's go right. Locked with a padlock that is in excellent condition. All right. 
kitchen. up all my oil. This an awful lot, and also I'm very quiet. I need to talk more. I'm just trying to focus. I just what happened to you I mean you had oil in here and I appreciate it but what happened to you looks like I came over here for a little bit lower and Looking good. Um, go. Second of August, eighteen thirty nine. I have arrived at the village of Altstadt. It's a haven in the midst of a vast forest and the last stop before my final destination, Castle Brennenburg. It's late in the evening and the outrider, who has been with the coach since Bremen, advised me to wait until morning before I venture further. I've arranged for a bed at Der Müller, the village's only inn, and am now waiting for the sun to rise. I try to sleep, but as I close my eyes, I see the men who fell victim in London. My fear and shame forces me to witness the same scenes over and over. They are dead because of me. Okay. 
Hate to say it. Do you have anything else in here other than that? Probably not. Okay. Alright, everyone huddle around the candle. I only have a slight headache. I still have the drill in this, so I'm going to be using these probably later. I still have the chisel. I could use this, but I only got a few cuts and bruises. Let's go. to the metal padlock the gate okay uh can i use this again no it needs to be weakened further can i use it and cannot use it I can hide in here.
I gotta go to the kitchen. as I want to, not yet. We gotta get to the kitchen. This isn't gonna end well. Calm down. there, man. Breathe. Breathe. I'm about to run out of oil. You've got to breathe. I feel like I have fled the world and all its worries. Brennenberg is a majestic creation perched upon a forest-clad hill with towers reaching well above even the highest pine trees. Following the winding road leading to the gates gives the impression of discovering something forgotten, as if journeying with Marco Polo to the hidden Xanadu. Hmm. Alexander, the Baron, is a peculiar but gracious man. He seems well versed in worldly matters and is not at all as eccentric as I assumed. My room is exquisite and I'm confident that no hotel for miles could even hope to match it. As the sun sets on Brennenberg, its fairy tale varnish turns to an eerie gloom. Alexander's strange servants are never far away. They are a quiet lot and their behavior could only be described as skulking. Alexander seems pleased by my presence. As he puts it, it seems like I got here just in time. The pain proves you're still alive, man. Just get some Sandy back. I 
get some sort of acid. Um... Really, let's find out. Oh, that... I'm actually having fun with that. One second. Spilling the acid. Damn it. Give me. How about some moldy bread? I'm actually enjoying that. No, wait. Ah. Wait, why did I touch it again? Stop it. Check, check, check. There's nothing. I wonder if I grab you. Nope. Come on. Come on. Get in there. Nope, just out of reach. Okay, let's stop playing with the acid. We want a bottle. Not like a cheap bottle, but a really good bottle. How about that? Okay, um, I'm done acidizing everything. Very fun. We got six tinder boxes. I have no fuel. I'm about to go running with nothing. Okay, yeah, yeah, right there. Get in. Technically, it's in the acid. Oh. That worked. Um. So all these are useless. Damn it. And I don't have the one thing with me anymore. That's with Sandy. That's pounding, but I'm getting there. Wait, actually. All right. hold acid for very long. Damn. sucks. So I have to find out something to carry the acid in. There. Those two are lit. That'll help. I'm not gonna light that one.
It's gonna have to be something in storage. How much? Uh, it's enough. We'll light that one so I know where the exit is. That lantern is the main lantern I want. If I get quiet, I'm sorry, it's because I'm trying to listen. The nightmares woke me in the early morning, and for a moment, I forgot where I was. Shortly after, there was a knock on my door. Alexander had heard my screams and asked me to join him in the parlor. As we drank our tea, Alexander began to tell me what he knew. It seems like the orb I found casts a long and dark shadow. It's not only a powerful item, but a dangerous one. Simply by touching it, you invoke the powers within, and if you are too weak to control it, it will devour you. The shadow is a sluggish thing, lagging behind the wielder, killing anyone or anything in its path to reclaim the orb. I said I didn't care about its powers and that I should throw it away. Alexander advised against this, as I'd still be a part of the path to the orb and eventually suffer death. Having the orb, I would at least have the chance to fight back when the time came. I asked Alexander what he meant when he said he could protect me, and he answered that things can be done, but at a price. He's not moving. He's not moving.
I need to go back. I need the storage. I was going the right way, but he's stuck. Which might work for me. Door shut. kitchen. Oh, I got six, six tinder boxes. All right, so let my character get a breath real quick. If it's still stuck in there, that's gonna work for me. All right, let's go. Follow the lights I've lit. There's only a couple, but it's enough. worked out for me. He got stuck. I'm not sure on what, but he got stuck. are going crazy. Alright, the problem is, is now if you go all the way back to that, those jail cells that were where storage were, throw the asset at the padlock. I know that's what I gotta do. And it sounds like he's up and about hunting me right now. Oh boy, oh boy. I got lanterns lit for a decent chunk of it. Should be okay for the lighting. Storage is this way. Yeah, lanterns less than half. Oh, one second. Huh, okay. I'll momentarily pause it here. And I'm back. Come on. We no 
know where I have to go. Left, not right. Easy there, just a slight headache. It's fine. I didn't do a good job lighting up this hallway. Nope, not this hallway, my bad. Help her! Find a way! I know this one's gonna be very short, but with amnesia, uh, it's a bit weird with timing for me at the moment, so I'm probably gonna end this one here, and if I do, I will, excuse me, I will see you next time, bye bye.